Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I'd like to welcome you or if you are new and welcome you back if you're a returning subscriber. I truly appreciate your support. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the week of July 4th through the 10th. So if you're interested in seeing that, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. So again, if you've watched my previous videos, then you know that I am using the Erin Condren A5 Compact Vertical Layout for my weekly planner. And then I also have the A5 Ring for my daily planner. So I mentioned before in the daily planner video that you probably won't be seeing that many Play With Me's because that's more so for like my eyes. So I'll probably just do a couple setups here and there, but this will be the primary planner that you see because it'll be the one that I leave at home and kind of reference as like an overall picture of what needs to be done. Whereas the daily, like I will literally be carrying it with me at all times so I can kind of jot quick notes and write to do's and all of those things as the day progresses. So anyway, so again, we have my name. Here's our monthly. Oh, and then I created this little habit tracker, which I'm going to try out once we get into July. It's still not even July yet. Like I'm still kind of pre-filming these just so that they can get started. So I'll be able to give you an update on how this worked, hopefully in my next video. But I would like to start doing these once a week. And then I'm still trying to decide about the whole like sticker shop thing. Do I want to keep it? Do I want to get rid of it? I don't know but I did make this sticker. So if I do decide to list it, then it will be customizable so that you can put the habits that you would like to track in these was six spaces and then, or you could just get a blank one. And then that way you can trade the habits that you want to track from week to week, or, you know, you might change them out or whatever. So if I do decide to do it, then this will be available right now. This is kind of in, I guess, test mode for myself. So We'll see how it goes. So then here is the week. I have some sticky notes just so I wouldn't forget some of the things that were going on. For this week, I am going to be using an OG sticker book from Wrong Wrong. This is the seasonal sticker book. And I just thought it was cute. Like I said, I'm only going to be using the kits for like the monthly and then that first week. And then after that, I plan on just kind of using my stash because like I said I, repeatedly I have so many stickers it's ridiculous so and then I also have like my regular stickers from my shop that I will be using as well most of these again are not listed yet because I'm still trying to decide but in the meantime I needed them for myself so here we are so anyway I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and start planning and I will catch you on the other side
right, so here we go. I really like how it turned out. It's nice and simple and cute to the point. I'm sure that I will have more things to add. Oh, I did forget to add my hair appointment that's on the knife. Totally forgot about that post-it note. So I will go ahead and add that in at some point. But anyway, this is what we have so far. And I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also hit the notification bell and the subscribe button. And be sure to check out the other videos that I have posted recently using these new Erin Condren planners of mine. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.